Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on Palace by Matthew and the Atlas. So this song, it's a nice relaxing song for a Sunday evening. It's about, what is it, it's quarter to ten on Sunday evening at the moment. And it's all about the finger picking with this one. So it's all about the right hand technique. The first thing you want to make sure is you've got a capo on the fourth fret. And you can play it open if you want, if you don't have a capo, it'll be exactly the same chords. Uh, you just won't be able to play along with the track. So, capo on the 4th fret. The other thing to note about this song is that he switches between a bar of 3-4 and a bar of 4-4. Four, four. And then he goes back to 3-4, and then he goes to 4-4 four, four again. So he's constantly switching between the two. And, you know, you could look at this and think maybe it's just in 7-4. Why not just count 7? But I think the feel of it really gives, like, you've got 3-4, and then it feels like it kind of leaps a little bit and then you've got a bar of four. So that's how I've written it out anyway, and I'll link to the tab in the bottom, make it available for everyone. So I'm just gonna go through the intro, because once you've got that bit, you've got the sort of finger picking technique, I think you're pretty much there. So let's start. So I would class this as an intermediate song, so I assume if you're learning this, you probably already know all of these chords, but I'm gonna run through them quickly. So you need an A minor to start off with. Simple A minor, open A, 2nd fret on the D, 2nd fret on the G, 1st fret on the B. So you've got your A minor, then you need an F, and the F that they play in here, they don't have to do a full bar chord F, you can just do a nice simple, no barring, fret 3 on the A, 3 on the D, 2 on the G, 1 on the B, and then that moves nicely to a C chord. So C is going to be 3 on the A, 2 on the D, open G, 1 on the B, open E. And then they do use a G chord, but it's just sort of a passing chord. And all they're doing with this one is fret number 3 on the low E, and open D. And that's it. That's all the chords you're going to need. So let's get into what the right hand is doing. Now, on the right hand, it sounds like he's using a claw technique, which is sort of, uh, just a thumb and an index finger, but watching videos, he's actually using thumb, first finger, and second finger. So, I'm going to try and replicate that. It's not how I would play it, but obviously we're trying to learn it how he plays it. So, let's start off with an A minor chord. Now, you want to put your thumb on the A string, and what he's going to do throughout the entire song is he's going to bounce between the A string and whatever other string it is. So on this bit he's bouncing between the A and the D. So the very first bit is going to be open A with your thumb, he's going to move the thumb to the D string, to there, and then he's going to pluck fret number one on the B string with his middle finger. So you don't have to worry too much about what frets you're plucking because you're just going to hold down the A minor chord for this bit. So on your right hand, it's going to go thumb on the A, thumb on the D, and then second finger on the B. And the rhythm of that is going to be half, quarter, quarter. So once you've got that bit, then the next bit you want to do is, I like to leave my first finger on, but I'm going to take off my second and third finger. So you've just got that first finger left on. So I still think of this as sort of an A minor chord, but it's like a little in-between to get to the next chord, which will be an F. So once you've taken those two fingers off, you just want to pluck the A string with your thumb again, and then you want to use your first finger to pluck the open G, and then your thumb is going to move to the D string. So you get A, open G, and then open D, because you just got that on there. The reason why I like to leave that first finger on there is just so that it maybe rings out a little bit more. If you just come from an A minor, then you still get a nice little note just ringing out on the top there. And it's a subtle thing, but I think it makes a little bit of difference. So, we have got, starting on an A minor, you've got the open A for half a beat, and then you've got the fret number two on the D, number one on the B. Then you take these two fingers off and you do 
A G D. Cool, that is your A minor done. The next chord I've marked it on as an F, but it's really just going to be fret number three on the A, fret number three on the D, and that's it. And it's half a beat on each one, thumb, thumb. Nice and easy. So you've got A minor, take the fingers off, and then on the F, and the F just makes you go nicely into a C chord. So you'll notice this first bit, that is your first bar done. It's only three beats long. One, then two, three. And then the next bar is going to be four, four. So the next bar is going to be a little bit longer. But this next bar is going to be all on a C chord. So nice and easy. So get your C chord ready and you keep it held down for the entire bar. So there's nothing to do with the left hand. It's all going to be the right hand in this bit. So on your right hand, you want to pluck A, D, half beat, half beat with your thumb. That's your first beat done. Your second beat, half beat on the A, thumb's going to move to the D, and then you're going to pluck the B string with your second finger. So it's half, quarter, quarter. So those two beats together, half, 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 quarter, quarter. A, D, A, D, B. Cool. And then you keep that held down and you do A with your thumb and D with your thumb again, just like the first beat. And then the next one, the very last beat, is going to be all a uh, quarter of a beat. Each one quarter of a beat and you're just going up the chord. So thumb on the A, thumb on the D, first finger on the G, middle finger, second finger, whichever you want to call it, on the B. So that whole bar is going to go and then all the way up the chord. And there you go. So let's move on to our F. Now, couldn't quite tell. Well, I had a little bit of difficulty telling if this was an F or if this was just a C sus4 or something. But I think, playing along with the track, if you put an F in the bass, it sounds like an F. I'm pretty sure it's an F. If it's not, correct me in the comments and I'll edit the tab and change it to a C. But I think it's an F. Anyway, if we get our F chord, which was the middle four strings, so those four, we're going to take our middle finger off. So we've got an open G. So that's going to be the chord for the first beat. So again, this is now a bar of 3-4. So the very first bar was 3-4, second bar was 4-4, four, four. so now this bar back to 3-4. So this one, with our chord with the middle finger off, you're going to play, each note is going to be a quarter of a beat. You're going to play A string with your thumb, G string with your first finger, go to the D string with your thumb, and then B string with your middle finger. So that's your first beat done. Second beat, now we take the little finger off as well. So you're left with just uh, your third finger and your first finger. So now it's the same picking pattern, but with those fingers on. So thumb on the A, and then first finger on the G, thumb on the D, first, um, sorry, second finger on the B. So, and if you put those two together, you're gonna get your F with the little finger down, little finger off, and then we've got one little passing chord, which is the G, so we're just going to move this third finger to fret number three on the low E, take off all the other fingers, and then we're going to do thumb on there, and thumb on the D, and each of those is half a beat. So go through that one more time, you've got your F, take off the little finger, and then move your third finger to the low E, thumb thumb on the D. And we're done with that bar. And then for bar number four, we're back into our four beats and we're back on a nice easy A minor and we just stay on this A minor. So first beat 
is going to be open A with your thumb and you're going to do D with your thumb. Nice and simple. Second beat is going to be... So again, same picking pattern as we had on the F. And once you've got this picking pattern, it's kind of it for the whole song. It changes a little bit, but he uses it a lot. So this second beat, you're going to have thumb on the A, first finger on the G, thumb on the D, and then second finger on the B. So those two beats together. And then your third beat is just A to D again, nice and easy. And then the fourth beat, you're going to get half a beat and two quarters. So your half beat is on the open A with your thumb, and then the other two are going to be D, and then B with your middle finger. So that whole bar and then you're halfway through the intro. And it seems like it's quite it's quite a lot. But once you've got the picking pattern down, again, like I said, it's sort of the same for the whole thing. So hopefully you'll be able to pick it up quite quickly. So we'll just go through the next four bars and that'll be the intro finished. Um, yeah, and these four bars are kind of the same, so I'll go through them a bit quicker and stop explaining so much about the right hand. Just sort of look at the chords, I'll say what I'm playing, watch the right hand, and if there's any tricky bits, I'll mention it. So, we're back into a bar 3-4, back on the A minor. Now this one, sort of like the beginning, get your half beat, half beat, and then we're going to take off those two fingers. So it's A, G, D, B. Then for the final beat of the bar, you just go to your F, which is just those two, nice simple F. And then we're on to the next bar. I told you I'd go through a bit quicker. So hopefully I'm not going too fast. Anyway, bar number six. We're on to our C. So the C, I'll do it beat by beat, back onto four beats in a bar. You're gonna get the A for half a beat, move your thumb to the D and then pluck the B. That's your first beat. And then your next beat is going to be A, G, D, B. Beat number three, nice and easy. It's just the A and the D. And then beat number four, exactly the same as beat number two. A, G, D, B. So that whole bar together Then we're almost there, two bars left. So this bit, we're back to our F, remember. It's an F, but you take off the middle finger. So I think it's the same as before. You want to pluck A, G, D, B, and then take off that little finger. Exactly the same picking pattern, but with the little finger off. A, G, D, B. So those two together. And then just move that third finger again to your G, and it's going to be thumb, thumb. And then we're on our final bar, which is going to be the A minor. So this one, first beat is going to be A, D, nice and easy. Second beat, it's that nice picking pattern again, A, G, D, B. And then the very last two beats, really easy, A, D, A. That's it. So, yeah, I think that's everything. So you've got A minor, F, C, F, G, A minor. And that sort of gets you most of the song. So hopefully that's a good place to start. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you want any more of it filmed or any requests. Um, and I'll try and transcribe any other songs, anything sort of finger picky acoustic like this. I mean, I've got the electric. I don't know if you can see it, I've got the electric back there, so I could do some electric stuff. But I really like all the finger picking stuff. Um, yeah, I think I'm kind of best at that. And I like the challenge of trying to pick out every single, like, exactly what they're doing, what kind of technique they're using. So yeah, any requests, send them through, and I will try and have a go. Cool, thanks for watching.